So Kodak, known around the world, the company that innovated the whole idea of taking photographs. In 1996, this company was a $28 billion, 140,000-person company. 20 years earlier, they had invented the digital camera. They owned the patents. They owned the whole idea. But what happened when they went to their board of directors and said, "Look, this beautiful digital camera, which was the size of a giant toaster, and took images of 0.01 megapixels?" The board said, "This is a toy for kids. This is not. We're Kodak. We make beautiful, high-resolution images." But what they didn't understand was the power of the exponential growth that was going on in this technology. And so last year in 2012, Kodak goes bankrupt, put out of business by the very technology they had created. But that's not the point. The point here is, in the same year in 2012, another company in the digital imagery business called Instagram is acquired by Facebook for a billion dollars. But they have 13 employees. This is where we're going. We're going to an age where linear companies, the old way of thinking, is being displaced by innovation and exponential companies. And for those of you who know Kodak's slogan, I've given this a name. I call this the new Kodak moment. So here are some of the numbers. Why innovation is so critical? Because in the next 10 years, 40% of the Fortune 500 companies will no longer exist. They will go the way of Kodak. Put a different way: if you look at this, this is from Professor Foster at Yale. If you started a company in the 1920s, you had a 67-year runway. You could start a company and for 67 years run that company, knowing full well you had it for the rest of your life. Today, if you start a company. The average life of an S&P 500 company is reduced down to 15 years. MySpace gets replaced by Facebook, gets replaced by Google Plus. The rate of innovation and disruption is skyrocketing. The rule is: if you do not disrupt yourself, someone else will. That's the world we're living in today, where a young team of innovators and entrepreneurs can do what only governments and the largest corporations could do before.